this time on building the X set, I am going to be putting together my full three inch exhaust system. Uh, last video I showed you, I went ahead and did my two and a half inch down pipe. Uh, that basically went down, turned at the tunnel, have a flex section there, and then it increases to three inch. Uh, now I'm going to do the full tunnel exhaust. Uh, there is a um, uh, blanket on the name right now, but there is a flange um, basically right after the downpipe. Then there's going to be mainly this piece of uh, straight three inch pipe uh, going back to the axle. And then right before the differential, I'm going to have another uh, flange, Marmon flange, that's what it's called, another Marmon flange there. And then it is going to turn around the axle or around the differential. And I will have this beautiful Dynomax cheap muffler. So basically how this video is going to go here is I'm going to first fab up from the front. I'm going to fab up the pipe going back to the Marmon flange right before the rear axles. And then I am going to mount the muffler. Um, and get that hung where I want it and then I am going to do the piping between the muffler and around the differential into the tunnel and uh, yeah we'll go from there uh, the other thing that I have here is I do have a swan cut mandrel bent swan cut of three inch pipe um, this will be should be enough I think to do all the curves I need to do um, this and then that straight four inch pipe uh, to go all the way back. So hopefully that's the case. If not, um, there the place I can get it from is semi-local, so I can get some ordered uh, to go there. So anyways, uh, that's the plan here, and uh, time to get to it. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the first joint here. Um, basically, uh, this is coming off the downpipe. This is the flange from the downpipe to the, you know, we'll call it the tunnel section. And uh, this is the piece off of that, that basically is going to find out where it lines up here, there we go, it's basically going to go um, down and then it'll make a slight turn in the tunnel here, that's this part of a turn here as you can see in the exit set tunnel about um, kind of right about at the trans end of the transmission there's a turn. Um, so this angle is going to have a slight turn in it, and then it'll be straight pipe uh, back to just before the differential. Okay, so as I said before, I'm not a welder. So I don't like showing videos of me welding because it's probably not done correctly. But I'll just do a quick, uh, quick couple tips for you guys here to help you out. Always bevel the ends of your pipe on both ends where they are going to be mating. That gives something for your filler to go into um, and will give a better finish, especially uh, with a um, with a uh, MIG weld like I'm doing. And then also you'll see these marks I make on all my joints. Those are called witness marks. Uh, those basically are marked when I am under the vehicle so I know that I have a two points where the pen's dragged over, so I know that's where they need to go to maintain the angle that I need, and uh, they're at the orientation that I need when I go to weld the pipes together. Okay, so now that I have my joint exactly how I want it, I have some magnets there holding it in place. My uh, witness marks double check they're all lined up. I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple tacks on it. All right. All tacked up. So as you can see, I got my tacks laid in there. Now this is all uh, together and not going anywhere. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and take this back underneath the car, bolt it up, and then basically we'll mock up the next piece. So I don't bevel the edges before I um, get everything mocked up. I basically go underneath, mock it up, get it all where I want it, put my witness marks on, then I come back and I finish my edges to mate together right. Uh, just because I don't want to do that first, spend all the time doing that, and then find out I need to shave or grind a little angle off of it. So I find this is easy, but um, you know I'm ending up with pretty good tight seams here. Um, not much gap at all. So, uh, yep. So I'll get this back under the car, and I'll uh, take the camera under there and show you guys uh, getting mocked up for the, the main tunnel pipe going. Okay, so it's a tight squeeze under here and you guys probably can't see anything I'm doing but uh, basically I have my uh, tunnel section here and I'm just getting these two pieces matched up and then I uh, got to get these tacked together here and the placement's going to be about right there and then um, just past the end of this piece down here there's going to be one more of these marmon flange sections right before the silver differential housing down here and uh, from there there'll be that'll be another connection point so the uh, exhaust can wrap around and be disconnected from the middle section here so time to get these pipes out and go uh, bevel the edges and get them tacked up I got the main tunnel section all welded on. This is just to kind of give you guys an idea of where we're at here. So my next idea here is basically <clears throat> get my marmon flange onto about here. Maybe do a maybe do a turn to here. Put the marmon flange on. Another marmon joint here, maybe and then wrap back up. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and look at this a little more and get to cutting some pieces. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and mock up the muffler first. Um, yeah, and this is really tough. I don't have a lot of room back here. So basically, what I'm trying to do here Sorry, doing this with one hand, but um, is get this muffler shoved up under here and get a turn underneath the axle and down. But the turns that I have, sorry about that. Um, wish I had a place to mount the camera to show you. But my turn is pretty big, pretty wide turn. This is the smallest they had in a, um, smallest 90 they had in a three inch. So I'm either gonna have to pie cut this a little bit to get this turn a little more tight. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna have to end up doing and angle the muffler to come more out of the car. Uh, but that's this is the smallest muffler I could find um, that was, you know, reasonable quietness or could, would actually do a reasonable muffling job. So, um, yeah, just trying to make this fit, and it is not fun. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get this mocked up, maybe do some pie cuts on this to get that turn and help get that angle um, around that differential there and still be able to keep the muffler inside the uh, fuel tank cover here. So we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Got a hanger on the muffler, got it mocked up in place. Do need to order another uh, hanger thing here, a bolt on one, because I forgot to weld one in up there. I didn't forget, I just didn't know where it was going to go. So uh, now I got this in place, now I'm going to go ahead and finish my tunnel pipe and get the flange on there. And I got a couple pieces to turn to weld for that. And uh, then I'll get that whole thing welded up, and then we'll be able to figure out this bend here and how we're going to do that. Well, unfortunately, I came to the conclusion that uh, pie cuts are going to be the only way uh, forward in getting this turn correctly. So um, 
I went ahead and cut two pie cuts off um, on the saw here because uh, I need a pretty tight, pretty extreme bend to get back there. So um, I just cut two pie cuts out. Basically, this pipe looked like this before and the same down here. And I just cut that out to get a cut about a half inch, quarter, half inch out of each section in between these, um, basically to uh, help get a little bit more turn in it. So I got these ones all beveled. I'm going to attack this one up. Then I'm going to get these ends beveled, <clears throat> and then uh, mock up some mock up some stuff with the muffler again. So uh, yep, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's just the only way that this 90 was not tight enough to be able to make that turn and keep my muffler semi-straight. check the fitment, take my gloves off here, and uh, get some marks on it. Go ahead and pull the exhaust out and we'll get this over to the table and get her welded up. Okay, so I got what I'm calling the mid pipe done here. Uh, basically, um, this is how it looks here coming off of the uh, down pipe. It makes a bend in the tunnel. You can see the slight bend there. And then uh, straight back uh, up between the two seats. And then uh, right after the rear bulkheads, uh, basically, I have a, a slight angle over toward the driver's side and up uh, to clear the differential. So and then I'm going to have uh, here, I'm going to have my other Marmon flange on the end here, and that will go to my, what I'm going to call, axle back uh, exhaust part of the car. So the nice thing about this is this will also be able to be switchable um, from a muffler version to also I'm going to, I think I'm going to end up making just a straight piped version out the back of the car. Um, so then I'll have kind of two different exhaust setups that I can use. So, anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I just got to go ahead and get this thing all uh, welded up, but you guys can see what the, the product's going to look like. Uh, next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you finishing up the rear part of the exhaust, the axle back system, get it all made it up to the muffler, the bends I'm using. And then I'll probably go ahead and do another video on, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just paint this up. Uh, just so it doesn't look like crap. Uh, but anyways, next video I'll show you the rest of the axle back exhaust. It'll kind of be like part two, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. If you like my stuff, please hit subscribe down below and like. Talk to you guys next time.